Well, the former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz announcing a potential 2020 bid for president as an independent. Then President Trump responding on Twitter with the following. Howard Schultz doesn't have the guts to run for president. Watched him on 60 Minutes last night. I agree with him that he's not the smartest person. Besides, America already has that. All right. Joining us now, Ralph Nader, former third party candidate himself, as um, you all know. So your reaction first, Ralph, to Mr. Schultz potentially getting in and also to those who say that by getting in, if he does, he will pretty much guarantee the reelection of Donald Trump. Well, if Howard Schultz persists in an independent uh, party run, apart from the duopoly, it's going to be a nightmare for the Democrats and maybe the Republicans. First of all, because he's a multi-billionaire, he's going to get mass media coverage, he'll have right. plenty of money for ads, he'll be on the polls, and he'll have a chance to get on a national debate. Here's what I think he's thinking in terms of strategy. One is that he'll shave off the votes from the Republican liberal wing and from the Democrat. He'll take from way. both sides, is what he thinks. But, right. uh, but, but, then, but most then the of the Democrats real. think he's only going to take from them. He's going to reelect Trump. You don't think that's right? Well, we'll see what the polls say. He's got yeah. some real conservative positions, like uh, on Social Security and Medicare. No, uh, so we'll see what the polls say. What show. about you? Do you ever look back on the 2000 race and say, boy, I shouldn't, I, I, I shouldn't have done it? You know, I, I basically, uh, by running, made it so that, that George Bush won Florida and thereby won the election. Would you, and if so, would you have any advice for him? It, he never won the election. Uh, Gore won the election by 500,000 votes. The Electoral College threw it into Florida. The shenanigans all the way to the Supreme Court uh, selected George W. Bush. So let's not, right. let's not be but factually deprived But would you, tell, would you tell Schultz to run? If he, if he wants I, to run, <clears throat> run. Running for office is the ultimate uh, First Amendment use. Petition, assembly, free speech. I will never say anyone don't run. You can oppose them mm -hmm. or support them. But everyone has a right in America to run for election. His strategy is to create a huge center, peeling off from the Republican Democrat. He has polls showing that, as well as the the real independents right. that are turned off. Yeah, it now, would be if, interesting if he takes from both sides. We'll see. I mean, we'll see if he, if that actually happens. You're right. We should wait for some data on this before we jump to every single conclusion that everybody's. Now, the Democrats doing. already have jumped to, to conclusions. No, I know. They're going to go. They're, they're going to go after him big time. With, yeah. Big time, he's going to get an idea of what the fangs are of a two-party <laughs> duopoly oh, you're right. You're right. Who, think, who think they own all the voters in America. You're right. They've, gone, they've done it already. Um, just real quick, Ralph, we had you on already today. We wanted to get your thoughts on the new Congress. I know you had this proposal for uh, 10 congressional investigations that would really rock the country. Now, we had a lot of breaking news at the start of the show, so if you can, give us one or two that you were thinking about that you really One is on corporate crime, fraud, and abuse. The mass media has been covering it. Congress has been ignoring it. The second one on the causes of poverty, huh. the minimum wage, the lack of health insurance, the lack of income security, etc. A third one will be on uh, the planet and the environment. There hasn't been anything on that in Congress under the Republicans. Well, the fourth see, we'll one will see. be to re reinstate the Office of Technology Assessment so they right. can advise the Congress on ballistic missile boondoggles, nuclear power, uh, electromagnetic attacks. Got it.